beautiful beings of the universe, welcome to now. I'm reading this beautiful book, uh, Yoga Vasishta Sara by Sri Ramana Maharishi. In this chapter 3, he talks beautifully about the marks of a liberated person, Jivan Mukta. So I'll, I just wanted to share about these point, pointers here. The first one says, The knowledge of the self is the fire that burns up the dry grass of desire. This indeed is what is called Samadhi, not mere abstination from speech. Second one, he who realizes that the whole universe is really nothing but consciousness and remains quite calm is protected by the armor of Brahman, he is happy. Third point, the yogi who has attained the state which is beyond everything and remains always cool as the full moon is truly the supreme lord. So, so what is uh, Ramana Maharishi trying to explain in this is it's about training your mind to be at ease in every situation whether the situation is for you or whether it's against you. So you need to learn to be at the center of your own self and quite often you'll find that you are being distracted and you are being tested upon and precisely that is the point that you will be tested because you are on the path of a yogi. So you would be tested through all of these situations and circumstances with difficulties in life and and whatever ways uh, it, it can test you because now you have learned this knowledge of of staying in your own awareness of being at the center so to speak in your samadhi or nirvana state after reading Upanishads and the teachings of the masters so then you would be put under test okay and when you are tested the real thing is that it's not that a yogi does not get angry or that you do not get upset when people try to upset you. Of course you do. What matters is that it does not linger around you. It does not stay any longer than that that's needed. So of course, like, if you're in a situation like that, you would react. Why? Because it's the life. Life is a dance and you are the dancer. So the dance needs to happen. You need to get upset when the situations are like that. You need to respond see this you just need to respond you do not need not react okay there are two completely different things what people do is that they get confused with responding with reacting and sometimes if your reaction needs to be a bit intense that's okay because that's the need of the hour when you are put to test you just cannot be staying so soft and so sublime but the time asks you that you need to be solid and you need to have an intent to draw a line you need to do that, else, else you'll be walked over by the society, which you do not want. So definitely, you need to step up for yourself. And just because you're a yogi, you, you need not be a doormat for everyone, right? So that is about the respect. But again, do not confuse the self-respect with ego. Because uh, we are trying to not, not harden our ego so much. We just want to live in a society where you're respected for what you do. And you, in turn, respect others as well. But not at the cost of you being there as a doormat for others. Because, uh, because now that you have taken up to the path of realizing your true self, like I said, everybody knows that. You would be tested. And it's your job to pass those tests. Because like, there is no just study of books and stuffs without being put under test. It's pretty much like going to a college, going to a school, wherein the child goes to the education systems and then it studies, uh, the child learns through these subjects and every time there's a semester, there's an exam that you need to pass. So you just got to be mindful of that and utilize that. And that's okay if you fail sometimes. That's okay if you get upset. What is essential is you keep going through, you keep pushing through because that's the test that we all are here for and we need to pass these exams. That's it for now. Have a great day, my friend. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.